And we're back, and hopefully the phone is working better now. So, we're doing a stem cell procedure for a partially torn ACL on Aku. And I thought I would uh, live stream it so people could see how we do this. So, the stem cells are right in here. And um, so we do a ml a minute i guess on the stem cells and then we're going to inject directly into the knee another batch this is our amazing vet i call her the world's greatest animal repair woman uh, hello and she's helped me take amazing care of my animals for years so. this is kiwi here so she's uh, sedated and anesthetized so she doesn't move so I'm here with Olivia. Say hi, Olivia. Hello. <laughs> She's monitoring the temperature, pulse, and respiration. Mm -hmm. Doing our TPRs. Yeah. And we are going to move into surgery. So we're going to move her into surgery here, and then we'll uh, do the knee. Can you help move her? Where's Nicole? There she goes. She's on her way over. Ah, okay. And we've got Nicole coming over, and I'm going to move this little back and get out the way. It's going to disconnect her. I'm just gonna stand out the way and let you guys do it. That way I can continue documenting. So for people that are curious, um, we bank stem cells at a company called Gallant, G-A-L-L-A-N-T.com. And Gallant has an amazing service where if you're spaying or neutering an animal, you can send them the reproductive tissue and they'll bank the stem cells what? and then you have a lifetime supply which is a much better way to do it because if you don't get reproductive tissue, then you have to harvest umbilical fat, which is a much more invasive procedure. So now we're bringing Kiwi into surgery here so we can do the knee. So this is, we shave down the knee here so we can get a good look at it. For Homer, is medic animal okay? It'll hurt knee. How many days? Oh, sorry. I'm getting out the way. <laughs> um, how many days? Oh, five days. Five days. Yeah. yeah, we really hope that this works. Um, I'm optimistic because I've had a lot of success with stem cells, both personally and also with other canids. And if it doesn't, then we'll repair the ACL surgically. But uh, since it's not a complete rupture, we're thinking it'll re-knit if we just treat it with the stem cells and give it all the tools it needs to heal. So if people have questions about uh, the stem cell uh, banking or anything else, I'm happy to answer. And I would also tell you that um, amazingly, since they don't cover stem cells for humans at all, my pet insurance, which is through Trupanion, um, covers stem cells completely. So it's amazing that they do. We're just uh, setting this up and she's about halfway done with the IV infusion of her stem cells. Yep. And then we're gonna do an IV, uh, IV infusion of platelet-rich plasma, which is spinning out right now. Should be about done spinning. It's like cooking in the oven. About <laughs> done cooking. And Kiri's right here. Kiwi is principally Arctic wolf. And, uh, yeah, for sure. So this is the plasma when it's separated, but before it's drawn. And the dark red stuff at the bottom is the plate. Red is the red cell layer. Red cell so those layer. are all the red cells. And then the platelet-rich plasma is this area. I'm going to draw that out. Okay. Under a sterile... I have a sterile hood. Yeah. So I have my own little cute little hood. We're going to draw that out, and then that's going to go ivy. Let's follow Leslie. Oh no, you're following me. Not too close. Following. <laughs> Stay back. She bites. No, Kiwi bites. Kiwi bites. I don't bite. <laughs> I need one of these for mushroom culture. <laughs> oh yeah. Little laminar flow hood. Pretty cool. Yeah, it is. So this is the procedure. her to do that. I'm going to go back to 
keep an eye on Aku here. She's doing good. Mm -hmm. Poor girl here. Nice and stable. Been waiting for this for a long time. Picks up her knee. She had a long winter of being restricted a bit to protect the injured knee. One or two on the inside. <laughs> <laughs> it's always summer inside Aki. That's right. <laughs> is getting stem cells here. Infusion is happening right here. We're almost done with the stem cells. That's that uh, opaque substance there being infused. And then we're gonna do an intra-articular injection in her knee, which is here. And then we're gonna Infuse that PRP which we just showed you guys. And then we'll wake her up. So we're uh, treating an injured knee, is what we're doing here. I just want to see a close up of some big feet. This is the feet. She has huge webby feet. Are we ready? Look at that. Yeah, I'm still doing I'm going to do that soon. I'm done with the stem cells. Is her temperature okay, Olivia? Yeah, it's been 100. Okay. Still summer inside her. Mm hmm I thank you. I find it hard to imagine that they can maintain a 100 degree body temperature when it's 70 degrees below zero. Think about that, 170 degree temperature offset that they maintain with fur. This is a resilient critter. My kiwi. This is pretty much state-of-the-art care for a knee injury for a canid right here, what we're doing. The least invasive approach to recover a damaged ACL. Yep. And probably the first wolf in the world. Mm -hmm. That'd be pretty cool. I'm guessing, <laughs> I, I can't imagine it's not. On the hips before, but this is the first for a knee repair. Hey, Anna. See, now you can pet her. <laughs> you can torture her right now because she's out. <laughs> She's so frustrated, Aku will never come say hi to her when she visits. 
<laughs> no, she's I just... I see her like this then. <laughs> yeah, she's flighty. Special gloves. They're just, they're sterile gloves. Just to add a layer of protection on them. Inject them in the joints. We've got a great big shop. <laughs> this Ooh. is the PRP. Yeah. Oops. This is actually the stem cells for the knee. There's the stem cells for the knee. Mm -hmm. It's a lot, that little capsule, you're right. Mm -hmm. I know. Two mils about as much as we should try to put in there, otherwise it they, would be uncomfortable for her. When I had my wrist done, mm. and it... They put a lot of material in the capsule. Mm. It felt like my head exploded. It was that was really? by far the most painful injection I've ever had. Jeez, it really weird. hurt. It was like one of those bullet ants stung mm. me. Oh yeah, really. I heard about those guys. <laughs> yeah, it was no fun. Mm. That's just the monitors beeping, letting us know that everything is good. That's her pulse, actually. Beep, beep, beep. Everything's stable. Keeping an eye on what's going on. We've got her sedated for the procedure so she doesn't move. <laughs> or bite me. Or bite. Yeah. Because <laughs> that'd be bad. It would be bad. She's only allowed to bite me, no one else. <laughs> I'm used to it. <laughs> In her life, she's probably bit me a thousand times. Oh my goodness. Some of it's out of love, you know? It's all out of love. That's right. Or so I tell myself. There you go. There it is. I'm just flushing out. Flush they are all in the IV cell time. All right, Kiri. Now she's got stem cells in her system to turbocharge all the healing. Um, Ivy, you want to grab her fluids, I guess, please, and thank you. Mm -hmm. We'll be back on regular IV fluids while she's out. Mm -hmm. She's uh, anesthetized. Is it clamp somewhere? Um, it's not actually. Is it dripping? No. Oh no, my glass is on. No, no, no. Dripping. Oh, there it goes. Is it going now? Yep. Okay. There we go. Yep, ready to go. So for people that are just joining, this is uh a Kutok, and um, we're treating a damaged ACL with stem cells and PRP. So we've uh, just finished the IV infusion of the stem cells, and now we're just putting her on a regular drip while she's anesthetized. And the knee has been prepped for uh, injection directly into the joint here. And so we're about to do stem cells in the joint, and then we're going to do platelet-rich plasma in the joint as well. Oh, and the IV. She has a, hey Maggie, um, so she has a partially torn ACL. We have another animal that's big and young and a little rough. And uh, we think that he just jumped on her. It's been uh, several months of trying to rehab it. And, and um, she has a, hey Kyle, she has a partially torn ACL. So we're doing stem cells and PRP to um, affect and repair instead of doing surgery. So here we are about to do the PRP, PRP? infusion. Yeah. So this is platelet-rich plasma, which actually stimulates inflammation and charges stem cells to um, program where they're needed. And for people curious, I've done all these same procedures on myself with tremendous success. In fact, I had a seriously injured knee that we fixed a while ago. And uh, been good for a while, and then I blasted my knee off the other day. And so I'm about to do, <laughs> it's a pretty serious knee injury, but I'm about to do, I'm a month out from my stem cells and PRP. 
I'm gonna get that in my shoulder. <laughs> you, you need to go to. see Dr. Boder. <laughs> he will fix you. All right, PRP is done. PRP is done. Uh, down to the down to the brass tacks here with a uh, injection directly into the knee of the stem cells. And, uh, stem cell stuff is amazing. Mm -hmm. Really, the frontier. Yes. <laughs> well, I'm like, oh my gosh. Got an Stage audience fright. here. Stage fright. No. <laughs> my daughter's the one that does gadgets, not me. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm hoping so too. We're, we're highly optimistic based upon previous results with stem cells that this is all we got to do and it'll heal up. We're going to go again in a couple of weeks. I'm glad that they were able to grow enough yeah, so, to do uh, better. A second injection would be awesome. Yep. The company is uh, called Gallant. It's gallant.com, and they do stem cell banking and amplification for canids. I think they might do cats also. Oh, that's not a trash. <laughs> so, um, hey, Barbara. So, um, stem cells um, reprogram. What do you want to see? I just want to see who's watching. Oh, so I've just got like six people watching right now, but they, they bounce in and out. Yeah, no, that's great. Um, and then this will persist on my timeline so people can see the video yeah, later no, and awesome. save it. So um, the intention is to sure heal the partially ruptured stem cell. Yes. Or partially ruptured ACL, rather, with stem cells and PRP. So it's real good for injured joints. Two, three cc syringes. So we've already done the IV infusion and we've uh, done PRP IV as well. And now is the really critical one, which is to get the stem cells right where the injury is. The lights are pretty bright. We have trouble taking pictures sometimes. check to make sure we have synovial fluid. Okay, so she's pulling back to make sure she's in the joint capsule. Gotta find that little thing there. Small little capsule, huh? That's very little. Especially when there's been an injury and there's a lot of inflammation. That there's a fat deposit in there that protects the two ligaments. And um, when it swells, um, it fills that joint with swollen tissue, which makes it, oh. Got it? Yeah. A little bit of blood, but. Well, it's probably some fats in there. in there as well. Yeah, so when I take this off, it should be a little stringy. Should be. Let me try again. Pressure in there. Yeah. So what we're doing right now is we're making sure that she's got the needle right into the joint capsule where the stem cells need to go. Leslie was explaining that. Um, oh yeah, sorry, I stopped my explanation. <laughs> when, there's a, when there's an injury, the uh, local inflammation makes the capsule um, hard, harder to harder to locate. In uh, so we're just making sure that we're right where we need to be. I usually hit it, but just take our time.
If you need me to put this down in assist in any way, just let me know. Yeah, no, I just, uh, I might be up against the fat pad. So I might have to pull out and um, start again with a different needle. Right. So we're still working on getting the, uh, identifying the capsule, making sure we're in so that we can infuse the stem cells directly into the joint where we need to. So for people that are just tuning in now, what we're doing is we've got Aku here and uh, so she's uh, principally Arctic wolf and she's 11. She has an injured ACL and we're treating it with stem cells rather than surgery. So we're about two thirds of the way through the procedure now. We've already infused stem cells and platelet rich plasma. And this final step here is the injection of the stem cells directly into her knee capsule. Good thing she's out cold, huh? I know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a little twilight drugs would not be. Yeah, we would, would be not struggling be fun for her, yeah. There have been times when, and the stem cell companies have directed that, there could be so much inflammation that there's not much synovial fluid, which is what I'm looking for as far as that. And um, sometimes there isn't any in there, especially if they've had some chronic inflammation. So I'm hoping to find it. She's had inflammation here for a long time with this injury. Any thoughts on adding uh, some hyaluronic acid to her diet for regeneration of synovial fluid? Um, I use it for myself. Yeah. It works pretty good. Yeah, I use um, it with sebum and I haven't heard that, but there's so much awesome information out there that um, I don't see why it wouldn't help, for sure. Uh, a sexual membrane extract. doing is we're making sure we're in the in the joint. It's Looks like very it. tricky because there's so much inflammation in the joint that it's hard to make sure we're in the joint capsule. Yeah. And there's you get a little bit of backflow in the hub here so and it's pretty thick so Novia fluid is thick so hmm. I don't know if you can appreciate that. There's a little bit of blood in there but that's usually pretty common for Trying to get into the knee there. I think that should be in there. Oh. If you need me to stop streaming to help, let me know. Sure, we're in the actual joint capsule there so that we put the stem cells right where they need to be. And this is tricky because she's got a lot of inflammation in her knee.
always grab the ultrasound to make sure. Just direct me, I'll do whatever you need yeah. to do. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna come out and we're gonna grab the ultrasound really quick. Okay, so just to make Expect sure. Just to see how much fluid she has in there. Yeah, so. She may not have much at all. So this is uh, her knee. <clears throat> and uh, so we're having trouble finding the joint capsule because of the inflammation. And so we're gonna grab the ultrasound. And that way we can really see what's going on. Luckily for me, I'm at a superbly equipped practice here in Carson City. This is Quail Ridge Animal Hospital. And uh, I have a long-standing relationship with um, Dr. Hewitt and her team here. They're super accommodating of me with my peculiar canids and my overbearing nature, which insists that I'm right here the whole time. And uh, the reason I'm streaming this is so people can see the uh, stem cell procedure. And here comes your ultrasound machine. There's not one there. Yeah. Plug it in. You can't need to have one of these at home. Then I can see how messed up my knee is. <laughs> <laughs> now we're going to fire up the ultrasound. It was fired up, but then I had to unplug it. <laughs> so. We've got all the toys in here. It's a toy kind of day. Ultrasound here. We're gonna have a peek at the knee to make sure that we can find the spot we need to be. This is her little shaved up knee. I'm a cutie. This girl. Yesterday was the 11th anniversary of her coming home. It's her 11th new puppy day. Princess Bitchy Pants. So the ultrasound is booted up and then, uh, and you're monitoring her temperature, pulse, and respiration here with Olivia. Say hi, Olivia. Hello. Hello. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I'm super fortunate to have an amazing practice that's reasonably close to my house. like ultrasound a wolf knee. I know but my eyes are blinded from the light right, so the yes please. Maybe. <laughs> if you identify the location you need me to hold that so that you can manipulate okay. the syringe I'm mm -hmm. happy to. Probably in with that just, blood, and that's yeah, just that's all there is. Yeah, because here's a oops, lost that. So, this is like the end of the bone there. Let's switch to small, maybe that'll help us visualize it a little better. So, we're looking at the knee. Trying to do is make sure we identify the uh, joint capsule so that we can put the stem cells right there. So this is the joint, and there's usually so fluid on ultrasound is usually black. Mm -hmm. So this is fat pad. These are the ends of the bone right here. So uh -huh. um, let's see, this side is going to be. So this is her tibia right here, and this is the end of the femur. Um, and I'm. So when I had injected and I got the blood, that's probably well, there is, that was yeah. probably it. There's no fluid in there accumulating. There's you would see black. So this is all the fat pad you're looking at in between the two yeah. ends of the bone. 
that I can get back to there again, sorry. Yeah, so here's one end of the bone, here's the other yep. one, and then this is the fat pad, and I mean, I was in, so, but I didn't want to take a chance. Yeah. You don't want to put it somewhere where it doesn't need to be. For sure, well, that's the key. And, part um, of yeah. Everything I understand. Yeah, so there is not fluid. It's all swollen fat. And, and there could be some, you know, you always get some chronic arthritis. So that's trying to go under the kneecap there, the uh, patellar ligament. Yeah, no fluid, just substance. So, let's see if I can. Yeah, I might just need you to. there so oh look there there's a little teeny <laughs> oh my gosh so that was it right just that little just that little teeny spot right there, spot right there. Right. yeah and I can <laughs> yeah it's like wow. seven millimeters that's her fluid which is right there which is my not goodness. a happy spot that's no she needs goodness. more joint fluid than that for so now we're gonna put some in there well, we're gonna put our stem cells in there. Mm -hmm. Hopefully that'll stimulate yeah. that too. Yeah, I'm gonna check back here a little bit. I don't know if I can. You know, in humans, there. they have that artificial fluid that you can do like every oh, uh -huh. year called Cinebex. Yes. Yeah. What if they make a caned version? Yeah, I've never heard of it, but that would be awesome. That'd be a good one. Yeah, okay. All right, so. We're using the ultrasound to help us guide the injection now is what's going on. Yeah, now that we have fat pad. So what we found is that the um, joint capsule is extremely small right now because of the inflammation around it. And so we're using the ultrasound so that we can visualize the interior structures of the knee. Because it's important to get this um, stem cell material right where it needs to go. exact same procedure myself, just like this. Mm. Yeah. We should probably see the needle in a we second should. here on the... Fat pad, you can see the. You can see it moving right there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You're almost through, right? Yeah, I'm in there. She's not producing enough joint fluid to. Yeah. To be productive. And so. That's probably gonna, why it's so limpy too. Yeah, but she, basically we just say she's bone on bone. Ooh. Can you hang that up for me? Thank you. Thank you. This is her stem cell material in the syringe here. And, uh, she's out, so this won't hurt her, but uh, with me, they've done it when I'm awake, and this, this part hurts, because the capsules are real small and tight. Oh, I got joint fluid now. Now you got it? <laughs> now I got it! Third time's a charm, right? Oh, yeah, you go. can see it in the... When I did that, you can see a little bit of fluid in there. Okay, I'm going to oh, inject yeah. now. And here we go. And it's nice and smooth, which... Good means I'm in there too, yeah. Perfect. And there it is. All right. Now that's how you do I stem have cells. The blood <laughs> now we're 100%. Yep. Yep. And now we're going to bring her up, bring her around. Yep. So that's uh, that's stem everything. cell treatment for Aku. Yep. For people that are, <laughs> yes, my beautiful girl. So hopefully <laughs> she'll be feeling better. She's awake. Right, yeah, she's very growly. Poor Leslie. She, she's got she the fork. Yeah, well, she doesn't hate you. She well. just doesn't like you as much as she likes no, some other people. Probably not her. Yes. So right. this is the procedure. So we turn off. And then we're gonna bring her around over the next hour or so, and we'll take her home. 
So for people that have questions about stem cells, um, or what we're doing, or why, or how, or how you could do this yourself with uh, your vet, feel free to comment or you can private message me. I'm gonna end the live stream now so I can focus on my girl. But thank you folks for tuning in and uh, we'll give you an update on her knee as uh, things progress. Hope everybody has a good day, stay safe. Love your pets.